Hi friends, I'm sure some of you can guess where I am and who this is. If you're a Waltons fan, you'll recognize actor Will Gear from this really cool bust. I'm here this morning very early, it's only about 7 a.m. in Topanga Canyon, California, at his theater and former home here up in the canyon. His bust is actually here in the shade, and the sun is just coming up over the hills just now. Probably won't be in sunlight until later today. So who else is a fan of The Waltons? One of my all-time favorite shows, and my favorite show from the 1970s for sure. If you're also a fan and you've ever wondered where the cast is now, then keep watching. For those who are no longer with us, I'm going to visit as many of their final resting places as I can find here in Southern California. Thanks for joining me on another trip to visit the most memorable cemeteries, memorials, and gravesites. Will Gear's former home and theater is located on the west side of North Topanga Canyon Boulevard. To visit his memorial garden, you enter through the gates, you go over a bridge and turn left at the bottom of the hill. And then on the left hand side you'll see the sign that says Will Gear Memorial Shakespeare Garden. And here with his memorial bust is where I was told his cremated ashes were scattered or buried. The Waltons TV show ran for nine seasons from 1972 to 1981 and Gear played Grandpa Zeb Walton on the show until his death on April 22, 1978 from respiratory failure. Gear appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows during his career and even won an Emmy for his role as Grandpa Walton. The series was based on Earl Hamner Jr.'s book, Spencer's Mountain, and revolves around a large extended family living on Walton's Mountain in rural Virginia from the Great Depression to World War II and after. It's been more than 40 years now since Gear's death, and it's nice to see that his theater is still going strong. As I'm here filming this morning, a group of people are here setting up for a performance later on today. I'm curious, have any of you attended a play here or a concert? And I also can't help but wonder if any of Gear's co-stars on the show have ever performed here. I'm assuming probably some of them, maybe all of them have. If any of you happen to know, please share with us in the comments section below. If Walton's Mountain was a real place and they converted their lumber mill to an outdoor amphitheater, in my imagination, this is exactly what it would look like. And since music was such a big part of the show, I'm picturing all of the Waltons up on stage here singing one of their favorite songs from the period while Jason Walton accompanies them on the piano. While there have been other memorable and lovable TV grandpas, I think my vote for best TV grandpa would have to go to Will Gear's Grandpa Walton. How about you? Who would get your vote? When it comes to best TV grandmas, I'd have to give my vote hands down to Irene Ryan's Granny Clampett on the Beverly Hillbillies. But actress Ellen Corby's Grandma Esther Walton wouldn't be far behind. And the role won her three Emmy Awards. Corby died from natural causes at the age of 87 in Woodland Hills, California on April 14, 1999. She was cremated and her ashes are interred here at the Great Mausoleum in the Columbarium of Memory at Forest Lawn in Glendale, California. Unfortunately, the mausoleum is no longer open to the public. Corby appeared in more than 200 movies and TV shows during her long career, but like the others, she'll probably always best be remembered for her role on The Waltons. Actress Helen Klebe played Miss Mamie Baldwin on the show. She and her sister, Miss Emily Baldwin, were well-to-do elderly spinsters who brewed moonshine whiskey for the locals. They referred to this medicinal elixir as Papa's Recipe, but everyone knew what it really was. Klebe appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows over the years and died at the age of 96 in Los Angeles on December 28, 2003. She's buried here at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. To find her gravesite, you make a left once you're inside the gates of the cemetery, head up to the top of the hill, make another left, and her final resting place is located in Section F to the left. Her Find a Grave Memorial page has a GPS to make it even easier to find. Actress Mary Jackson, who played Miss Emily Baldwin, is laid to rest at Oak Grove Cemetery in Milford, Michigan. She died in Los Angeles at the age of 95 on December 10, 2005. 
Actor Louis Arcade is laid to rest in the Cedar Lawn section of Rose Hill Cemetery in Whittier, California. Arquette had a recurring role on this series as J.D. Pickett, the owner of a factory where Aaron Walton worked. He was the son of actor and comedian Cliff Arquette, who was famous for his Charlie Weaver character, and he was also the father of actors Rosanna, Patricia, David, Alexis, and Richmond Arquette. His gravesite is located in the Muslim section of the cemetery, and I'll pan around so you can get an idea of what the area looks like. Lewis died on February 10th, 2001 in Los Angeles at the age of 65 from congestive heart failure. He appeared in more than 100 movies and TV shows during his career, but acting is just one of the many titles that he has listed on his headstone. It's a little bit difficult to read now, but teacher, writer, puppeteer, haji, and poet make up the rest of his epitaph of accomplishments that it appears he was just as proud of. And I have to say, this is the first time I've ever seen Puppeteer as part of a headstone epitaph. But the thought of a world with a few more puppeteers and poets does sound pretty appealing, doesn't it? The first time I remember seeing actor John Ritter on screen was on The Waltons. He had a recurring role on this series as the young Reverend Matthew Fordwick. It was his first TV series role, but definitely not his last. Five short years later, in 1977, he became one of the stars of the TV sitcom Three's Company. Sadly, on September 11, 2003, Ritter died at the young age of 54 during surgery to repair a heart problem. He died in Burbank, California at the Providence St. Joseph Medical Center, which happened to be the same hospital where he was born. Ritter's gravesite is located near the top of the hill at Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills in the Court of Liberty section within the Gardens of Heritage Division. At the time of his death, he was the star of his last TV sitcom, Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. And for those of you not familiar with the actor, he was the son of singing cowboy star Tex Ritter and the father of actors Jason and Tyler Ritter. My next stop is Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California, and the Courts of Faith and Truth Outdoor Mausoleum. As you can see, let me get a little bit closer here, I'm at the crypt of Jerry Goldsmith. He created a theme song for the TV show The Waltons. One of my all-time favorite shows and one of my all-time favorite TV theme songs. Maybe my favorite TV theme song of all time and my favorite uh, TV show. Definitely from the 70s, it was my favorite TV show. Goldsmith was a composer known for his film and TV scores. It was nominated for 18 Academy Awards, 9 Golden Globe Awards, and 7 Emmy Awards. He won 5 Emmys and 1 Oscar for the movie The Omen. He died from colon cancer in Beverly Hills at the age of 75 on July 21st, 2004. And his epitaph reads, cherished and respected around the world for the gift of his music. According to his Find a Grey Memorial page, the creator of the show, Earl Hamner Jr., is laid to rest at the Hamner Family Cemetery in Shiloh, Virginia, where he was born. He died in Los Angeles at the age of 92 on March 24, 2016. Actor John Waite, who played the father of the family, John Walton Sr., is laid to rest at White Plains Rural Cemetery in White Plains, New York, where he was also born. Waite died in Palm Desert, California at the age of 85 on February 13, 2014. Actress Peggy Ray, who played Rose Burton on the show, is interred at Santa Barbara Cemetery in Santa Barbara, California. And when I visited the cemetery last year, I guess I was having a major senior moment because I didn't realize her niche was located there or she would have been at the top of my list to visit. But now I have a reason for a return visit. Ray died in Toluca Lake, California from heart failure at the age of 89 on February 5th, 2011. Actor Joe Conley, who played Ike Godsey, died from complications of dementia at the age of 85 on July 7, 2013 in Newberry Park, California. Unfortunately, he was cremated and has no final resting place to visit at this time. 
Actress Ronnie Claire Edwards, who played Cora Beth Godsey on the show, died from pulmonary disease in Dallas, Texas at the age of 83 on June 14, 2016. She was also cremated and has no final resting place to visit at this time. I'm happy to say that actress Michael Learned, who played Mother Olivia, is now 80 years old. Richard Thomas, who played the central character, John Boy, is now 68 years old. John Walmsley, who played Jason, is 63. Judy Norton Taylor, who played Mary Ellen, is 61. Mary Elizabeth McDonough, who played Aaron, is 58. Eric Scott, who played Ben, is 61. And David W. Harper, who played Jim Bob, is now 58 years old. And this week, I'd like to say thank you to my two new Patreon supporters, John Akers and Mark A. Simpson. Thanks for supporting this channel, John and Mark. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. You might like to watch these videos here as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And click the bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload future videos like this one. So until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.